Hi, so I'm at the Yes Men's International Secret Headquarters and we're about to get a tour. My name is Whitney Black and I'm the Yes Woman. Here's our secret headquarters. We've got Survival Ball Central here and we've got some other special projects downstairs in the basement. Watch your head. I'm very excited to get to see where the Yes Men staged their fantastic stunts as we saw this week with their stage UN press conference. So we're about to get a tour. Um, I'm noticing all these people around wearing red suits. Uh, what are, what's that about? They are very special friends that we're working with in Copenhagen. They're the climate debt agent. Actually, all you need to do to become a climate debt agent is sign up. It's just that easy. Awesome. Practically heavy outfit. <laughs> all right, we're about to go into the very official UN room where all the delegates and the negotiators talk. Here's your official Good Cop 15 accreditation. Awesome. Ready to be a good cop. This is your chance to say the most positive thing that you could ever imagine happening for the world. So this is awesome. So I can just go up there and be a voice of the United Nations. What I would like to see coming from the Copenhagen Climate Talks is all vehicles powered by algae. I'm really excited to look at this set, which um, looked completely official when we saw it in the video. It was an amazing aspect of the prank. The podium is, is stacked on top of Great. beer crates. So, so tell us a little bit about how you made this and what it's built out of. Um, it was completely DIY. We did a lot of dumpster diving, actually, to find a lot of these things. There's mattresses all over the walls for soundproofing. A fake table out of a table legs we found in a dumpster. The mics, these were made out of basically just pieces of wood and cardboard, some straws. This is amazing because when you look back from about three feet, it completely looks like a microphone. Yeah. And when you get up close, you can tell this is like exactly. a very advanced craft project. How many students were involved in making this whole set? Six or seven in about three days. My name is Mike Bonanno, and this is Kadili Chanya from the Climate Debt Agents, and they are the ones who really are behind this stunt. So what, what's been the reaction from Canada, Uganda, and the Wall Street Journal? Canada has been angry. We know this because we had people inside the conference center who, who were watching them that day. They had to delay a press conference. What advice do you have to people who are interested in pulling international pranks? If people want to pull Pranks. They can look at challenge.bsmen.org and it's a sort of a social networking game that they can go to and participate in and talk about doing things. But, you know, the, the thing that's really important right now for everybody is to just act in whatever way they can, whatever way makes sense in order to, to affect the change that we need. Especially to see this climate change uh, issue get resolved because unless we do something, uh, people like Kadili and Kadili's family are really in trouble. I mean, it's already, the effects there are already very bad. Here's Andy Bickelbaum, he's one of the Yes Men. He's hard at work on perhaps another international prank. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to whatever the Yes Men have in store next.